So we've released a new version of the Semantic Kernel tools, so version 0 0.9. And I'm going to do a quick demo of one of the features that we've included in this release. So I have um, a prompt file here, which I'm which I'm working on. And um, what I want this prompt to do is to generate um, limericks. And um, I want to use the day of the week as the theme for the limerick, right? So I've provided um, a number of example examples here for the prompt. And then right at the bottom, I've got my ask here. Um, so I want to say I want to write a very funny limerick um, based on the day of the week. So um, what I want to do is have the day of the week be computed, right? So there's a couple of ways I can do that. I can um, put in an input variable here, and then when the prompt is being executed, um, some context needs to be provided, which is going to be the input and something external to the execution of the prompt needs to determine the day of the week and provide it a, as input. But the semantic kernel also supports native functions, which provide some useful functionality. So if I hit control space here, it, it's going to load um, all of the skills that are available um, for use within this prompt, right? So the skills that have a folder beside them are semantic skills that exist within the workspace, right? So I can see here in my skills folder, I've got my demo skill and my fun skill and my math skill here as well. Um, these are all, the remainder are all native skills that come from the semantic kernel. So there's some useful functionality. These are for things that the, um, the AI or the large language model can't determine or or doesn't know like so they're you know the llms typically aren't very good at, at maths and then for the for the time skill um you know we want something that's more that's um you know that's going to be completely reliable right so so i'm going to select the time skill hit dot and these are all the um the functions that are available so the one i'm i want to use is the day of the week um so now i can execute this prompt in the semantic kernel tools and we'll be able to um, resolve that um, that function. So you can see here when it generated the prompt to put in the correct day of the week, um, today is Friday, and I get a good response here. So I get a limerick and it's based, it's using Friday as the theme. Okay, so so that that's great. Um, the What's missing though, is that if I look within this particular project, right? So this is a C-sharp project. I've got some um, classes in here and I have this, this reason skill. And um, this is a class and it has a method, it has a public method, which is decorated with the SK function attribute. So this is a native function that the semantic kernel can consume. But um, if I go, um, and this is the prompt, right? This is the prompt that I want to, uh, to use it in, right? So if I hit control space here, you can see it doesn't, reason skill doesn't show up, right? Um, all, the only native skills are showing up are the ones that are core to the, um, to the semantic kernel. So we have, if you go to the settings now and you go to the semantic kernel settings, like we have, we've added a section here for experimental features. And this is our first experimental feature, which is the ability to register custom native functions. So when I turn that on and I go back to my prompt now and I hit control space, um, you can see that some additional um, skills, native skills show up, right? So my kernel shows up my kernel skill, my skill, and reason skill, which is the one that I'm interested in. Now, the, the way, the reason that these show up is that we're analyzing the, the workspace, right? So we're finding the CS project file. Based on that, we can figure out what assemblies um, are gonna be built as part of this project. And then we're introspecting the assembly itself. We're looking for classes that have a public constructor, that either takes no arguments or a single argument, which is an I kernel. Um, and then it also needs to have public methods that have the SK function attribute. And they all become candidates then to show up in here in our suggestions, right? So um, my kernel skill um, takes a, has a public constructor that takes an I kernel. My skill um, just has a public no args constructor and the same with with reason skill. So I can select reason skill hit dot. It only exposes one method, um, which is my random reason. OK, and 
And now if I, I'm just going to clear my output. If I execute this prompt now, it can we can actually resolve the um, the skill from your the native function from your workspace at, at execution time. All right, so the the event that it's or the reason that it's generated here is I forgot to call home the first time. Um, let's clear that and rerun again. Um, and this time it's I did not do my homework, right? So if you look at you know this basically we're going to um, go through these these three um, three three reasons. So this functionality is is experimental. We'd like to get feedback. Um, so you know we'd love if people try this out. And then, you know, maybe if you have any issues or have any suggestions, um, post in our in our Discord channel. And um, we look forward to hearing from you. Okay, so thanks very much. Great.